guys welcome this is a general reading for the collective of taurus sun moon rising venus it's not date or time specific so whenever you come upon it if it speaks to you it could be your message at that time uh, welcome cross watchers for taurus and for those of you who are landing here for the first time happy to have you join us i did upload the june 2024 love tarot monthly energy update so check that out um it, it kind of runs through the month of june um astrologically as well as tarot uh week by week so um it was pretty insightful to me and we have some really beautiful lovely energies in the month of june so check that out okay here we go i'm pulling from um priestess of light i think it's priestess of light Yes. Priestess of Light, while my kitten um, has the zoomies, <sighs> will activate your reading with card 21. Guide the illuminated path. This is like hermit energy. Uh, I kind of like that because two and one is three. And to me, three. Uh, three numerologically always involves some like learning or education communication um so there's some kind of guidance that's being illuminated for you or by you you could be the guide you could be receiving guidance um nice message for the month of june even though this isn't date or time specific oh the kitten um the timing of it feels relevant to the present moment. Okay, so I'm gonna pull the spread, give you my general impressions. We'll get the details from the clarifiers. Here we go. Knight of Pentacles. So we're opening up with something possibly coming toward you rather slowly. Um, judgment is what's crossing you. It could be an opportunity for reconciliation or a reunion may be coming towards you. Um, it, it feels very much like that moment where you'll have to assess whether you want second chances in this situation. In your unconscious awareness, we have the seven of wands. It can present a challenge. It can feel like uh, you may need to sort of plant your flag in the sand as to you know what you're taking a stand for it can also be a little self-protective uh yes self-protective for sure in the past we have tower energy um two of cups in your conscious awareness so we're talking about a relationship that might have had um a falling out there could be an opportunity coming toward you for redemption second chances forgiveness but you're feeling a little um, self-protective right now. The glorious news is in the near future. The world card brings to an end a challenging, difficult cycle, and the new cycle begins. So um, all hope is not lost. Let's go ahead and clarify. Knight of Pentacles with judgment. Lovers. King of Swords. The Moon. So there are some um, sensitivities, maybe some apprehension, um, unsure that, you know, that you're seeing the full picture or it's difficult to trust your intuition in this situation. You may be dealing with somebody who's a little cool or aloof, comes across like you can't read them, but you believe this is your beloved. Um, twin flame, soulmate, however that feels to you. And it could just be that their coolness um, is what sort of brought in that tower energy. Like, yeah, that's not going to work. It's not sustainable. It's not something where I feel I'm on any form of solid ground. So I have a feeling that that's what's happening here. Um, you're, you've got some reservations, apprehensions around it. Let's Hence the seven of wands. Let's see the seven of wands in your unconscious awareness. Yeah. Is this someone I can um, have? Uh, is this someone who would even be committed to the connection? 
What are their beliefs? What are my beliefs? What path are we choosing as we move forward? Is this someone I should reconcile with, should reunite with? So I do feel in your unconscious awareness, there are questions about this, uh, the, the, the potential of this to become, a, like, are we on the path to something more committed? Um, and that judgment coming back in as something that's running on the back of your mind um, in terms of reuniting, having an opportunity for a second chance here. Because the, the message of judgment is that it is a second chance. These are sinners being given a second chance, rising up out of their graves for a second chance at life, at love and happiness, whatever, fill in the blank, but you have to answer that call. So I have a feeling the question is, do I feel comfortable answering the call of the past life soulmate, of the twin flame, however you um, see this connection, and is there a path to something more committed? Let's see the tower in the past. Nine of pentacles, whatever happened, it kind of pulled the rug out from under you, left you on your own and, you know, in the singles market again, everything came to a standstill, a crashing halt and um, nowhere for the, for the divine feminine to take her open and receptive energy. I feel like it, there was rejection here on some level. Oof. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Can you hear that? This is my cat in his litter box. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, two of cups. <laughs> He's a little loud. Very particular and fussy. Okay, so in your conscious awareness, yes, this relationship is exhausting you. You are persevering. We have the Knight of Pentacles again coming in, sort of in your conscious awareness is like, I'm gonna take my time with this. I'm gonna begin with the end in mind. I want commitment. I want something like normal people have, a traditional committed connection, relationship. And I do feel like you're, you're hitting this moment where you're just like, ah, you know, when's my wish fulfillment going to come in? So um, interesting dynamic here because it's like, you know, there's something very beautiful and sacred about this connection. Um, but there's been some sort of like, a, 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 you've received a cool reception um, and left to your own devices and everything kind of just hits pause for some reason and then it leaves you to question do we even have the capacity for what it is i'm looking for so then we have the world card in the near future some form of completion of a cycle and feeling rewarded for learning those important lessons so you can begin a new cycle the endings and the new beginnings of it all Yes, it brings in some form of communication. And then what happens is you may go into overdrive. You may kind of go like, oh my gosh, now what do I do? So when we're talking about closing out the cycle and we have this communication, it does feel like a decision has to be made. And that's where one of you or the both of you kind of just get caught like a deer in the headlights. Like, what are we really dealing with? What do I do? What do I decide? Kind of on the fence, kind of feeling torn. Okay, so um, I'm going to give you the astrology here, but in the extended, I want to, I sort of want to look at this person. I'm just going to refer to them as the King of Swords. I, I, here's what I'm looking at. How are they sizing this up from their highest vibration and their lowest vibration? Um, what are their true feelings for you at this time? Their intentions toward you and the connection? What's the hidden energy that you don't know something they don't want you to see or they're not revealing? And what is their message to you? So we're going to like take a little bit of a twist on my extendeds for this um, series of readings. Got it? Okay. Also, if this these readings are, if you're finding them helpful, insightful, they give you like some confirmation or some self-awareness, 
by all means, join me here more regularly by subscribing below. Click the notification bell so you can see it come up in your feed and um, like and share if you feel called to do so. So that's how you can help me pay it forward. All right, here we go. We have the Knight of Pentacles twice. That is Virgo energy. We have Judgment twice. That's Pluto, Lord of the Underworld, right? And Karma. Um, rules Scorpio. We have the lovers card is Gemini. We're in Gemini season as I record this. King of Swords is Aquarian energy and the moon is Pisces. We have the Hierophant is Taurus. Yes. Um, Tower is Mars, which rules Aries. Virgo in the Nine of Pentacles, Neptune in the Hanged Man, which rules Pisces, and Venus here in our Empress, Taurus and Libra. Then we have, oh, and I already said that the Knight of Pentacles came out twice. Hey, no, no, that's not what you're here to do. Cool out. <laughs> the world is Saturn, Aquarius, and Capricorn. He does respond to my haze. <laughs> hey, you, no, don't do that. Um, okay, so that's what I have for you. Thanks for joining me. I'm heading to the extended now. The links for that are below. There are a couple different links. If you just want this extended, it says one time. If you want to check out the, the Taurus monthly, click on that because you get access to a couple collections of extendeds that you can look through, okay? That's what I've got headed to the extended. I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.